What is up, everyone? This is Contemplate back again, talking about the GPD XD. Starting off with some first person shooter games, starting with Pixel Gun 3D. This one was requested by someone in my comments, so I thought I'd cover it. Wish I would have gotten this video out sooner, but hey, uh, every day you can do this uh, lucky draw thing. Nice little feature, adds something to the game, lets you get free stuff because it is, of course, a microtransaction type game. Uh, you can choose to adventure or you can choose the multiplayer mode which is what I've gone into here to just show off how it runs while being online because of course the single player story mode is it's fine it runs great. Um, I have sped up some of the load screens because I didn't want to wait for them in this video so it does actually take a minute to load. Uh, you can see there are four other players in the server and it runs really well but the only problem I've run into is I had to use the uh, hard key controller setup so uh, the game itself does not come with the ability to run off a controller so if I had used a USB device on a regular Android device it would not have really allowed me to use it so but I got it all set up and as you can see it's functional uh, the control system is one of the ones that, uh, as you can see, as I try to make full turns, it swipes, 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 because it doesn't just hold it down, because it's not made to use a physical controller, it's made for touch controls. So I'm going to let it play through, just uh, let you see how it plays. So that's Pixel Gun 3D. Runs well. Fun game. I actually really like it. I'm glad that it was suggested to me to try out or to uh, talk about. But controls aren't perfect, but they're workable. Moving on, we are going to be showing Modern Combat 5 Blackout. This game is really cool, and as you can see on screen, it does support a physical controller, so that is always a very nice addition to a game. There is a lot of ads and attempts to get you to buy into microtransactions, but they're not so overwhelming that it makes it a deal breaker. Also, this is another cool thing about this game. You can customize your weapons, make them look how you want, choose different weapons, different loadouts. It's really cool. You got your skins, which of course they take time to unlock. You can change out your scope. And of course all these changes can be applied to your pistol as well. So the weapon customization system in the game is really fun. I personally think it's really neat. That's one thing I've always enjoyed about the Call of Duty games is being able to really customize your loadout and decide what kind of player you want to be. Alright, enough fooling around. You can even actually have several loadouts. So as I start up here, bam, add. And that happens pretty much every time, but again, I don't think it's such a nuisance that it breaks the game. But this game is really fun. I really like it. Uh, fast forwarding through this load screen here. I wish it was this fast because again, this game takes a minute. Alright, I'll leave you watching the game. Your
This I thought was really cool. I saw my reticule went red. Bam, bam. He shot right through the curtain, took out my enemy. Freaking love it. This game has a lot of great little features like that. Even the fact that right here you can shoot between these and not have your bolts be blocked, I think that's that says a lot about the way this game was built. Right here while I was playing, but the graphics got kind of fuzzy. I don't know why that is, but it's not my recording software. That was actually happening in the game. So I don't know if it's all at fault of the GTD or at fault of the game itself. So, just wanted to mention that. Looks like we arrived just in time. Get in. That was Modern Combat 5 Blackout. A really good Android-based first-person shooter game. I really like this one. The customization is awesome. <laughs> and it's just a fun game. Our next game, Unkilled. First-person shooter, zombie apocalypse-based game. This one's really fun from what I've played. Now, this is, I believe, the first or second stage. I can't really recall. Um, I haven't played too far into it. Every time I seem to get it, I seem to run out of space on my device and... This one doesn't make the cut for all the other games that I want. So, it does support the physical controller, which is awesome. It has a really good system for assigning the key strikes and swipes and stuff. It's pretty damn good. But, sadly, it doesn't automatically recognize the controller and do it itself. But, I'll let you guys watch a little bit of gameplay. That's it for this week. I'm going to try and be a little bit more reliable and make more videos more often. Thank you guys for setting your comments in. Thank you for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing. If you want to see more videos like this, I will probably continue making videos on the GPD for quite a while. It is a system that I really enjoy and one that I really want to support. So if you liked this video, like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys back here again soon. This is Contemplate, signing off. Peace.